students i hope you all are doing well i am your maths teacher richa sen let us study today lesson 5 of your book that is factors and multiples so student let us see what are the new things this year in your chapter factors and multiples let us have a look at first the contents that is factors multiples rules of divisibility prime numbers twin primes composite numbers hcf that is highest common factor and lcm that is least common multiple so what are factors and multiple a factor of a number divides that number exactly with no remainder that is the remainder will be zero divisor is called factor of the dividend dividend is called multiple of the divisor let us see with the help of example so here 5 divides 15 exactly you can see so 5 is a factor of 15 and 15 is a multiple of 5 now let us understand with another example that is 3 into 4 gives us 12 so you can see the factors of 12 are 3 and 4 both why because both can divide 12 completely leaving no remainder and 12 can be said as multiple of 3 and 12 can also be said as multiple of 4 now let us see what are the properties of factor every number has one as a factor every number is a factor of itself so students from here you must have got two factors that is one and the number itself okay every number except one has at least two factor that is one and the number itself so this is what i was talking about the factor of a number is always equal to or less than the number now let us see at the properties of multiple a number is a multiple of itself every number is a multiple of one every multiple of a given number is equal to or greater than the number itself every number has infinite number of multiples zero is a multiple of every number but zero is not a factor of any number except zero okay so why zero is not a factor of any number because zero cannot divide any number completely now let us see test of divisibility so here are the rules that is divisibility rules up to table 12 or you can see up to the number 12 a number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is 0 2 4 6 or 8 a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digit is divisible by 3 A number is divisible by four if the last two digits is divisible by four. A number is divisible by five if the last digit is zero or five. A number is divisible by six if the number is divisible by two and three. A number is divisible by seven. How? Let us see. Cross off last digit. Double it and subtract. Repeat if you want. If new number is divisible by seven, the original number will also be divisible by seven. A number is divisible by eight if the last three digit is divisible by eight. A number is divisible by nine if the sum of the digit is divisible by nine. So you can see the divisibility rule of three and nine is just similar. Then a number is divisible by ten if the last digit is zero. A number is divisible by eleven. How? Subtract the last digit from the number formed by the remaining digits. If the new number is divisible by eleven, the original number is divisible by eleven. Then, at last, a number is divisible by twelve if the number is divisible by both three and four. Now, let us do test of divisibility till the few of the numbers. With the simple shortcuts, you can find out a number is divisible by given number or not. Divisible by two. Any number is divisible by two if its unit digit is any of zero, two, four, six, eight. Now here you can see with the example that here a number is given. You can see 
67,98,512. So the last digit or you can say the unit digit is 2. So of course this number will be divisible by 2. Now a number is divisible by 3 only if the digits on adding gives us the sum which is divisible by the 3. So here the number given is you can see the number as given below is 1,23,456. So now we will add the digits that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 that gives us 21. So 21 is divisible by 3, 7 times. So yes, this whole number is also divisible by 3. Now let us see whether the number is divisible by 4. If the last two digits of a given number are divisible by 4, so the number can be divisible by 4. Here the number given is, you can see, 7,49,232. Last two digits are 32, which are divisible by 4. So the given number is also divisible by 4. Divisible by 5. If the unit digit of a number is either 0 or 5, so the number will be divisible by 5. So here in the example you can see the number given below is you can see 7,49,230 and unit digit is 0. So yes this number will be divisible by 5. Now let us see whether what is the divisibility test for 6. If a given number is divisible by 2 and 3 as you know both are factors of 6 then the number is divisible by 6. So here the number is, you can see 35,256, unit digit is 6, so divisible by 2. And then 3 plus 5 plus 2 plus 5 plus 6 is 21, so the number will be divisible by 3 also. So yes, this number 35,256 will be divisible by 6. Now let us see at some of the concepts, that is twin primes. Prime numbers which differ by 2 are called twin primes like 3 and 5, 5 and 7, 11 and 13. Co-primes. Two numbers are said to be co-primes if they have only one as their common factor. Like 3 and 4, 4 and 9 are co-primes. Prime numbers. A number having exactly two different factors namely 1 and itself is called prime number. You can see the example 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31 and 37. Composite number. A number having more than two numbers factor is called composite number. So here you can see 4, 6, 8, 9, 12, 14, 15, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, 24. These all numbers are having more than two different factors. Okay. That is why they are known as composite number. Now let us see what is highest common factor or you can call it greatest common factor that is HCF or GCF. The highest common factor of data set is the largest number that divides exactly into the numbers. HCF is the greatest number which exactly divides two or more given numbers. HCF is also known as greatest common divisor. So here HCF as you all know can be founded in many ways. So here I have discussed the three methods that is simply by listing out the factors. Okay. So let us have a look at first finding the HCF of 24 and 36 by listing out the factors. The factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. Factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18 and 36. So you can see the number that is common, uh, there are many numbers, but the highest common factor is 12. So your LCF will be 12. Now let us see the other method that is using prime factorization method to find the LCF of 24 and 36. So here you can see first we will find the prime factors of 24 and then we will list out the that what is the HCF. So prime factorization of 24 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 and prime factorization of 36 is 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. So now we will find the common factors that is 2 again 2 and then 3 and from these common factors we will pick up one one numbers. 
So our LCF will be 2 into 2 into 3 that is 12. Now we will see HCF using repeated division. So it is also known as common division. Again we will find the HCF of 24 and 36 and we will put the numbers in this form and so we will first see the smallest prime number that divides both numbers. So 2 divides 24 12 your times. 2 again divides 36 18 your times. Then again 2 can divide both numbers. So 2 divides 12 6 at times. And again 2 divides 18 9 your times. Now the next common prime number for both will be 3. 3 divides 6 2 your times. And 3 divides 9 3 your times. Now we don't have anything common number left between 2 and 3. So our HCF will be. 2 into 2 into 3 that is 12. So students have you all noticed one thing that though we are using any method to find HCF our answer is same in all three cases. Now let us have a look at the last method of HCF that is long division method. Here example is given find the HCF of 135 and 180 by long division method. So to find this HCF, first we will see which is the bigger number between both. Our bigger number will become dividend and our smaller, a smaller number will become divisor. So the smaller number is 135. We will take 135 one ja times because two ja times will get multiple greater than 180. So now we will subtract 135 from 180 and we will be left with the remainder as 45. Now remainder will become divisor and the divisor became dividend. So now we will take 45 3 ja times and we got 135. So now our remainder is 0. Students in long division method the division will continue until we don't get our remainder as 0. The moment we will get our remainder as 0 our division will over. And so the last divisor will become HCF. So HCM here is 45. Now let us see what is LCM. Least common multiple or you can say lowest common multiple. The least or smallest common multiple of any two or more given natural numbers are termed as LCM. For example, LCM of 10, 15 and 20 is 60. Least common multiple is used to find the smallest common multiple of any two or more numbers. Now, here we are going to find the LCM of 4 and 6. This is the most simplest method. We will just list down the multiples of 4. So, you can get infinite number of multiples. So, let us write that is they are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Multiple of 6 are 6, 12, 18 and 24. So, as the name suggests, least common multiple. So you will see the smallest number common to both list is the LCM. The smallest number is 12. So 12 will be our LCM. Now let us see at how to find the LCM of 12 and 32 using prime factorization method. So in prime factorization method we will find the factors of both number individually in the way as it is given. First we will find the factors of 32. So we will use the smallest prime number, the 32 should be multiple of that number. So 2, 16 ja times, again we will two, take 2, now 8 ja times, again we will take 2, that will go 4 ja times, again we will take 2, that is 2 ja times, and at last again we will take 2, that is 1 ja times. So LCM continues until we don't get 1 at the bottom. Now we will find the factors of 12. So again we will take the smallest prime number and 12 should be multiple of that number. So 2, 6 are times. Again we will take 2, 3 are times and at last we will take 3, 1 are times. So here the prime factors of 12 are you can see from here that is 2, 2 okay and prime factors of 32 from here you can see are 2 into 2 into 3 and now our LCM will be 96 after taking the numbers common from both. Now find the LCM and HCF of 36. 
here you can see that LCM of 12 and 18 we have to find and HCF of again we find of 12 and 18. So this I have done to explain you the difference between LCM and HCF with the example of same number. So when we are finding the LCM and HCF by using common division method, we will list down the 12 and 18 in the way. Now we will see the common multiple. Okay, for 12 and 18 that is 2, 2 6 are times and then 9 are times. Now we will see common multiple for 6 and 9 that is 3, 2 are times and 3 are times. Now we will make 2 1 that is 2 1 and again we will take 3, 3 1 So our LCM is 2 into 3 into 2 into 3 that is 36 and our HCM now 12 and 18. Now we will see the smallest prime number that is common to both. So 2 6 and 2 9 ja. again a smallest prime number that is common to both that is 3 2 ja and 3 3 ja. Now here there is no common number between 2 and 3 so we will leave it and our highest common factor will be 2 into 3 that is 6. So I hope the thing is clear that the difference between LCM and HCF by the same number. Thank you.